Okay, we're gonna try out this new interface. Uh, it's the GS Pro device interface version 1.6. Previously we tried 1.4 and it didn't work very well with our setup, our, our Windows 10 uh, setup and our SkyTrack. So now we're gonna try the version 1.6. We've got GS Pro loaded up. Our resolution setting 1920 by 1080 on very high we can't run um, ultra our graphics card won't handle it I mean it will but it gets a little sluggish and we'll go ahead and hit play Loads. I'm just gonna check over here at our sky track and our sky track is on two red lights on the top which means it is not connected and it doesn't have the laser dot showing which is the top red bar normally when it's ready to hit the top red bar is green when it's not ready to hit the top red light is red all right so now this is very important this API version 1 connect what will happen is when you first run GS Pro it will come up and ask you which interface you want to use and you have to pick API version 1 connect if you're using the SkyTrack. Okay so now we've got the API version 1 connect loaded and we have GS Pro is now loaded up and now we go into our folder and we run our Our GS Pro device interface. As I mentioned, this is version 1.6. This is the latest one. Run this. So when this runs, you get a really nice screen that pops up. I like this a little bit better than the PG SIM connector that we have been using previously. PG SIM connector, I believe it's version 9. I uh, heard there may be a version 12 out there, but um, we use the version 9. Version 9 is okay, but this one is definitely a much better looking interface. So this is the new interface. This is version 1.6. And what we do first is we search for our device. Here's your message log here. We want to search for your SkyTrack. So what it has, it's discovered our SkyTrack found it and now what we want to do is want to connect and watch what happens there it shows that the client is connected that's us and the top line here went from red to green that means we are connected and we are ready even though it says it's not ready it is ready and if you'll notice when you play and you hit balls you'll start to see stats start to register here in the interface and the API connect here and on the screen they all will show the numbers it, it goes from one interface to the, the other to the other to the to the GS Pro the program so that's how you get things set up and hopefully you guys don't have any issues of course the place to ask questions regarding this interface or anything that has to do with GS Pro it's best to get it posted on the Discord server, the SGT, the Sim Golf Tours Discord server. They have tons of people out there that are very knowledgeable at this and they can help you if you have any questions. But thank you for watching and hopefully we're going to get some uh, course videos out there so people can see the course that we've done with TGC 2019, see some play action and help you decide whether you want to choose GS Pro or not. So have a great day and thanks for watching.